Hey y'all, it's Debbie, your girl with pearls. And today I'm gonna do a cute little boo sign for Halloween. I got the letters at Michael's and I got the three frames at the Dollar Tree. And I used one piece of scrapbook paper and I was able to get all three frames out of that one piece. Now you can come up with your own color variation, whether you want to do orange letters and black scrap of paper or a scrap of paper with a print on it would be really cute. I'm just actually using what I had on hand. And now making sure I'm going inside and on the very edges of the outside so it'll have good coverage when you see it on the frame. And using a sponge brush for this is makes it go really quick. I got a three and a half by five inch frame from the Dollar Tree. Got three of them, one for each letter, with an easel on the back so they can stand up whether you want to put it on your mantle or a table or a shelf or in a vignette. I don't know about you, I don't decorate a lot for Halloween. I do have kids that come to the house, so I give out candy. So I usually do um, a table that I have by the front door. and Nothing scary, just more whimsical with um, pumpkins and this little boo sign. And I have some orange um, lights that I plug in and drape over a little bit of fall foliage. But, you know, pretty, pretty whimsical. Don't want to scare the kids. <laughs> but I thought this would be cute. So basically what I'm doing is just going to remove all the parts of the frame and save them for the future. I'm gonna keep the glass and the frame and of course the backing. And I'll speed this along for you. Now I'm just gonna clean the glass. Um, you can use any glass cleaner that you want. I just wanna get it clean on the inside and the outside so um, the letters will adhere to the glass. I actually had this orange piece of scrapbook paper um, and I'm going to be able to get all three frames out of this one piece. So I'm just lining it up and tracing it out. And then I'll cut it out. I'm gonna cut just inside those lines so it fits. This is actually a fun project you could do with your kids if they're a little bit older, since you're gonna be using glue, but they might get a kick out of doing it. Okay, so now I'm just putting it in all three frames. Now I'll put the backs on the frames. And I'm just gonna glue the letters on it and I think it makes it really pop.
I'm going to be using the Gorilla Clear Glue because it actually says it adheres well to glass. And I've tried some other glues in the past on glass and they didn't hold as well. So this is my first time trying it, so we'll see how it works. Now one thing I've learned is don't put a lot of glue because it oozes out the sides and then you end up with a big old mess. I'm going to put enough to hold it, but hopefully not too much. And I'm going to eyeball it and then drop it down. Try not to move it once you get it on the glass. And I'm just going to continue with the other two letters. Well, that was a quick and easy project, and I think it's going to be fun to put out for Halloween. I hope that you enjoyed it, and thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll come back and see me again.